Hey guys, Ibra here with Hurricane X, and we stopped by the MSI booth at Computex this year, and they showcased a few bunch of products, so let's kick things off with their motherboards. Huge thanks to our Computex sponsors for sending us out here. Shout out to NVIDIA, Fantex, NCIX, and MSI. Meet the X99, a gaming pro carbon motherboard. By the title, you can guess that certain parts of the motherboard are covered with a carbon skin. It also has a new design with reinforced steel armor on all the RAM slots, PCI slots, and M.2 PCIe SSD slots. This was mainly done to improve signal strength and stability when preventing electromagnetic signals from traveling to other components. The PCI M.2 slot delivers speeds up to 32 gigabytes per second, and there are two slots in this motherboard so you can configure it in a RAID 0 configuration and get those blazing fast RAID 0 PCI Express speeds. LAN Protect is a LAN connector designed to give you the best networking experience while also featuring additional protection, and to do so, it has a 15 kilowatt anti surge protection to shield your network from lightning strikes, brownouts, and static electricity. A red LED inside the RJ45 connector shows its functionality. The CPU socket features an additional of 2036 pins versus 2011, uh, and this is to improve overclocking, especially for uh, Intel's Extreme Edition processors and DDR4 memory. Uh, we saw this feature about a year ago on MSI's high-end motherboards, but it's starting to become popular on pretty much most of the motherboards. Now, since RGB is the thing these days, we're starting to see it purge into the motherboard market, uh, and in this case, we have the Gaming Pro Carbon logo uh, that's RGB lit on the side, and subtle lighting underneath the VRMs and other areas. MSI calls it the Mystic Light. Uh, it features 16.7 million colors with 17 different LED effects, and these can be controlled within the mobile app uh, that's eventually going to be coming out later this year. MSI also showcased their Z170A Titanium and X99A Titanium series of motherboards. This is targeted towards enthusiasts and the overclocking market. Uh, when I held it, I was amazed at how strong the board was built. Seriously, this thing is a tank. We have a steel backplate at the back of the board, and this is perfect for enthusiasts since if you're applying a lot of torque by installing two to four GPUs, you need not worry about GPU sag. Uh, they also have a ton of connectivity and overclocking options uh, for the GPU as well. All right, moving on to GPUs, we have the GTX 1080 Gaming X GPU and Gaming Z GPU. These look almost similar to one another with both using the new Twin Frozer 6 cooler and red highlights. The heatsink features double ball bearing fans to keep the card relatively silent, and heat pipes are directly in contact with the core. And compared to the Twin 5 cooler on the previous models, it's supposed to be 20% cooler and 40% quieter. The Gaming X comes with a significant factory overclock, whereas the Gaming Z boasts even higher frequencies along with an MSI Dragon logo on this backplate and custom LEDs. They also displayed the GTX 1070 Gaming X video card that featured the same twin Frozer 6 cooler. Similar to the 1080, we will be receiving two versions of this particular card with one featuring RGB and the other without the RGB. And so what do you guys think about MSI's new high-end gaming motherboards as well as their GTX 1080 GPUs? Um, definitely let us know in the comments section down below. I'm Ebar with Hurricane X. Stay tuned for more Computex coverage and we'll see you in the next one.